Alright guys, so I was just getting ready to make a video on how to deliver an implant crown and of course the inevitable happened. This guy got stuck. My screw is stripped and I can't retrieve it. So I figure it's the best time to show you guys how to use a screw removal kit. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is get your loops, get your light, and um, alright, so if you're trying to insert it with one driver, try switching out for another driver. If you know that the screw is stripped for sure, then it doesn't matter if you, you, you might as well try out different drivers and see if they pull the screw out. So give that a try first. Uh, try them out, try even sticking it and, and pushing down really hard, or I mean, within reason, like really hard and twisting um, to, to unscrew it. But if that's not working, if it's not coming out, then you can use <clears throat> a screw removal tool. So this is my, well, <laughs> this is my screw removal kit. And so the first bit that I'm going to use is this guy right here. So first thing is I'm going to run this on reverse at, um, at 1000 RPM. So I'm going to put this into the abutment at 1000 RPM in reverse. I'm going to go up and down, up and down. It's pretty hot, so you want to make sure to use irrigation. So the next one that you're going to use is this one. So this is the tap, and you're going to run this on reverse for like at like 50 newton centimeters. Alright, so just in case you don't have a screw removal kit, another thing that you can do is actually take a like little quarter round burr and then just like the smallest burr you can find and just make a little slot on the screw head and then stick a flat end driver, so a flat end implant driver and, and back it out. So if you make the slot wide enough, you'll be able to catch it and back that screw out. But the easiest way by far is using one of these screw removal kits.